good? Recording. Okay. And welcome to Wednesday, January 29th, 6.39 p.m., Ujima Wednesdays, co-direct. Um, so I think most of what we're going to talk about, if you were here for our previous co-direct, is going to be pretty familiar. This is going to be too new. I think the primary new thing is we do have an update on our delegates process. So in our last co-direct, uh, actually uh, a few times, we've mentioned uh, that Ujima is piloting a delegates process for our for the process of ratifying new investment lists. So just as a quick reminder, um, we uh, ask Ujima members and community members to name businesses. This is how we get candidates for investment. Uh, and in the past, we have had a process where we've taken all of the names that Ujima members, as well as community members in different neighborhood assemblies and in our citywide assembly, and we have compiled them uh, into lists uh, by neighborhood or, or by the city. And in the past, we have put that before members for a vote, just like we have done with our investment decisions, a very similar process. Um, and what we have learned from the two previous times that we have done this, so from this, we have our current list of businesses, uh, three lists actually, we have an, a Roxbury investment plan, we have a Dorchester investment plan, and we have a Mattapan investment plan. Uh, those three plan plans together total 140 businesses. Um, when we put out a ballot in 2019 on those businesses, we had actually asked members to look at those 140 businesses at one time. Uh, we did reach quorum on it. It was ratified as a plan. Um, and we did also know that was a lot of information to be asking our voting members to digest at one time. Um, and it, we probably cannot uh, sincerely say uh, that members kind of, uh, you know, thought deeply about uh, each business as they were deciding whether or not to kind of approve those lists. Uh, we also then tried to have uh, a citywide list. So outside of Roxbury, Dorchester, Mattapan, uh, but maybe including those three neighborhoods, uh, ratified in 2021, and we did not meet quorum uh, on that uh, on that process, and that, that was for a few reasons. We actually did a kind of like a live kind of Q and A about that process. Um, but definitely, we do think what we learned, and in that process, there were 80 businesses that we were asking members to to look at. So we do think we learned um, that we need to work to make sure that we are asking Ujima voting members to actually take in digestible. Uh, uh, digestible sizes of information. So not to be kind of looking at 140 businesses at one time or 80 businesses at one time. Again, we can't, we can't really reasonably say that these were thoughtful uh, decisions. Um, so the del what we've done with the delegate uh, process is we said, rather than putting whole list in front of the entire Ujima membership, voting membership for a 50% quorum, we're actually going to have a smaller body of people uh, that we're going to call delegates, uh, that and we could kind of consider them super voters. Uh, so the way we chose the delegates was based on participation in previous votes. So people who had pretty steady participation, um, particularly in our recent votes, but even in some of our earlier votes. And then also responsiveness. Uh, we looked at how quickly people voted. So people who voted in kind of the first week uh, that the vote was open. Generally now we try to have a, we try to uh, have a, a voting period closed out within three weeks. Um, so we chose a group of 50 people uh, that we felt fit that criteria and asked them if they wanted to be uh, delegates. I think we ended up with a, a final group of people, and I think maybe this is Sierra who's here, I'm not sure. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong, Sierra, but I think we ended up with the final group of maybe 18 or 19 people. Is that correct? And is that Sierra? Okay, yes, it is Sierra. So Sierra's writing in the chat, yes, 18 people. And then what we did, then said is each person is not going to have more than 10 businesses. So again, getting back to how much information are we asking people to uh, deliberate on? And so 10 felt like it was enough and some people didn't even have 10. Um, and so, so far, it looks like it's been a pretty good process. We're not completely finished. Uh, we are still waiting for three delegates to complete their ballots, uh, but we had um, a delegate meeting uh, last Thursday. Yes, was it last Thursday? Yes, we had a delegate meeting last Thursday, uh, which was a really good meeting uh, where we had a chance to receive some feedback on the process. So we got a lot of really great feedback. Um, the delegates who were present also told us they would do it again. And so we are planning on uh, doing it again in October uh, for a new list of businesses. 
Um, and what's really exciting about this is so far, based on the ballots that have come back so far, and again, we're waiting on three more uh, to, to be able to uh, release final results. So far, um, we have some new businesses that are entering the pipeline, which is, which is really exciting. Um, and the reason we, we're doing this process where we are generating new lists and asking members to um, ratify new plans is because, yes, we already have the 140 businesses that we've uh, been working with and trying to do some outreach with, but we also know things change. So we also know people start up businesses. So definitely, for example, we know in 2020 with the pandemic, definitely changed businesses that were existing, people come up with new businesses, new business ideas, et cetera. Um, so we wanna make sure we're giving uh, Ujima members and community members an opportunity to name businesses that just didn't even exist before, but they, they think Ujima should be in, in contact with them. Um, and then we're also always getting new membership. So we're always getting new voting members. Uh, and uh, you know there, may have, there are also even community members that we have not necessarily reached yet previously. So it's also giving kind of new voting members and community members that we are building new relationships with an opportunity to name businesses themselves um, and just allows us to kind of expand uh, the pipeline of businesses that we can potentially invest in. Uh, so that's why this, this process is important. And so as I said, it's really exciting. Uh, we're looking at upwards of 80 new businesses uh, joining the Ujima investment pipeline uh, through this process that we expect to close uh, pretty soon. Um, I, I'm, I can't tell you right now how many businesses we'll be looking at in October because I haven't looked at that list yet. Uh, but then we're looking at some additional businesses coming online in October. So I'll just pause here uh, for any questions, any feedback on uh, the information I just gave about the delegate process. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is really, yeah, I had some questions about, well, one thing the 7-Eleven I did check on, the franchise is minority owned. I asked them. Which, which one is this? The 7-Eleven on West Florida. Oh, wow. Thank you for checking up on that, Louise. That's great news. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. And, 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 delegate, and Louise is one of our delegates. Uh, so she was a part of the process. So uh, thank you so much for that information. That's actually surprising and exciting. Nice. Yeah, because but so many others I put in. I don't know how it got there, but they might be ones I use, but they're not. I might change my mind. They're not bad, but they might not fit us. And I, then I did send you two more. Oh, yeah, I did see that. I did see that. Thank you, Louise. Thank you so much. Yeah, those two were, because I haven't used, I gave the reason why I didn't think I haven't used them recently, but like sweet tooth of bi bi biracial gay couple. Ah, okay. All right, cool. Excellent. That's so I, I did see, I think both of your emails, Louise. So yeah, so we'll have to kind of work that into future processes. We can't add it to this list here, but we'll have to work it in moving forward. Thank yeah. you so much, Louise. You're welcome. Anything else? All right, I'll move on to the next topic. And uh, uh, since you're here, James, maybe I'll ask you if it's if if you want to talk about this. But we mentioned this before. Um, we're gonna have a party, uh, July thirtieth. Um, it's also going to be a fundraiser. Um, and uh, I don't know if there's anything more you want to say about it, James. I mean, I think you mostly covered it. Um, it's going to be the best part of the summer. Now, at least that's what everyone's saying. Um, so y'all should definitely come through. It's going to be uh, at Nubian Gallery um, in Nubian Square, um, 7 to 12. We're going to have projections all over the space. Um, uh, working on food. It's going to be it's 21 plus because there's going to be alcohol there. So hope, you know, hopefully everyone's a little of age. Um, but uh, it's really a, just going to be a vibe of us just getting together, meeting folks in our community, um, connecting with each other. I know if you want to learn more about what's going on, you, you can come in and do it there. Um, but I really think it's going to be like a fun meetup of just our members and our like community. And so um, hopefully y'all come. Um, there's going to be a lot more promotion coming down the pike. So y'all will definitely hear about it soon in, in the next month. Um, and so, yeah, um, Paige Curtis, who's the culture and communications manager, is going to be point. Um, so if you have any questions on just, or we're going to be looking for volunteers. I just want to, I don't know if that was on the docket, but I'm throwing it out there now. Um, we uh, are going to definitely need some people to help coordinate the day of, um, and also um, maybe even manage some things before. If those you're interested, um, 
on joining our 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 team our our um as we sort of uh, gather this event and um, we definitely want members to support um and to contribute to the the, the experience um we're hoping that this this uh, the event i don't know if i even said it it's called black portals um did i say it um but <laughs> i was going to say it after you oh yeah you? <laughs> um and we're hoping that this is going to be a reoccurring uh party and experience where we'll continue to invite oh yeah um a lot of the projections are are centered um and derived directly from black artists black imagination um and we want to sort of continue to offer that that um that space for artists to sort of project their work um and illuminate the space um in any sort of imagination experience future past um um experience we're desiring so yeah just want to throw that out there was that all i got to talk about nia was anything else i think that's good the only thing i want to say is thank you so i was i was just going to say it's called black portals and if you want to find anything about it now there is a facebook invite so if you look up ujima on facebook and look for the black portals event um you know that's where you can see some information and maybe just bookmark it for when we drop the um the actual invitation and, and when we uh, release the tickets. Um, I don't know if, if it's anywhere else, Sierra. Like, I don't know if we've put anything up on Instagram about it. Is Sierra on still on Instagram up? yet? Sorry, I was no, trying to. Okay, so, so I think where you will find it, some information about it now is Facebook. Yeah, um, I'm about but, to drop the event in the, in the chat real fast for y'all. So yeah. Check it out. But we're releasing tickets pretty soon, so definitely please, uh, you know, mark your calendars for that, um, and and hopefully um, you're able to join us. Um, the next time, and I'll pause. Any questions, feedback about Black Portals? All right, cool. Uh, I think the next thing we want to talk about, we've talked about this before, is outreach for the Ujima Good Business Alliance. Um, see, I'm going to ask you if you can help us out and find the, I don't actually have this ready, if you can find the link for the outreach sheet. Um, but I mentioned before, we have a list of 140 businesses that uh, we're working with, or we have three investment plans, I should say, that comprise 140 businesses uh, that our fund management team uh, has been working to uh, connect with. Um, and we've asked you all previously for help in connecting with them. So I think Sierra has just dropped the link in the chat. Um, and uh, it's much like if you've done any uh, voting phone banking with us, where we've we've asked members to contact Ujima, Ujima voters and to say, hey, remember to vote before the deadline. We're asking you all to do similarly to check out the list. If there are any businesses, you you know, maybe it's the biz one of the businesses. May maybe you see any businesses you've nominated yourself on the list. Um, businesses you enjoy, businesses you've patronized or will patronize soon or actually maybe you haven't patronized yet but um now that you see them on the list they seem intriguing um yeah we're asking if you can uh go in uh and let them know Eugene is trying to uh connect with them uh we have an email script we also have a, a phone script um text script of course depending on your level of uh, comfort and your level of familiarity with uh people who are attached to the business but we are asking um, for you all to be uh, helpful in helping us to connect to these businesses. So if you look at the spreadsheet, you'll see we've uh, done, uh, we've made some major progress uh, in connecting with the businesses. So our fund management team has done a great job uh, going in person um, and, and, and meeting people. And we've, we have some new uh, applications to the Business Alliance, which is exciting. Um, I'll just pause here to see if Genoa, if there's who's who's uh, our fund administrator and a member of the fund administration fund management team, if there's anything you would like to say, uh, Genoa. Um, not really. Um, yeah, just you know, as much help as we can get would be you know great, especially if you already know these businesses, um, you go to them often, um, or even if you just want to meet them, you thought they were good. Um, and yeah, you know, we, we was out there today, me and Jock. Um, we also have another member, um, Andre. Um, he should be joining us soon um, in the in-person meetings, but, you know, it's good to just be out in the community, meeting these businesses, you know, sometimes even buying from them, um, just letting them know who we are and what we're trying to do. Um, but yeah, if you guys, you know, if you're willing to help, it would be great. We'd love it. So, yeah. Thank you, Janela. And I know y'all were at Slade's earlier today, so... Yeah. 
I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to put them on a spot or anything, but maybe even want to connect, contact the fund management team and say, hey, can we walk around with y'all? So I think they, you, you all try to walk around on Wednesdays because you'll, yeah. get, you'll get lunch, sounds like, if you, if you do that. Um, <laughs> so um, on that note, um, actually, and I'll just pause any kind of questions, feedback about that, about the uh, Ujima Good Business Outreach Process. Okay, and I will who say should, that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Marion. Um, who should you reach out to if you do want to get involved? Excellent can, question. Yeah, go ahead, Genoa. Yeah, you could um, you could you could reach out to me or Jock, but I could put my email in the chat. Um, and then yeah, if you have any questions, just feel free to email me. Um, and then yeah, we could chat. All right, cool. Thank you so much, Marion. Um, so. Related to that, so as I said, we've made great progress in connecting with businesses. So we are seeing some new, some some applications coming to the alliance. Uh, very happy to announce that we did formally invite uh, Commonwealth Kitchen to join the Business Alliance last week, and they completed their membership application this week. So the Ujima Good Business Alliance does now have a new Business Alliance member, uh, Commonwealth Kitchen, which is uh, very, very exciting. And so we will make that announcement soon in, uh, in uh, our announcement email. Um, and actually, we are uh, uh, doing a first announcement in our investor update that's going out tomorrow. Uh, so that's the, the I'm probably I'm going to say last thing I'm going to say, unless there are any topics that I'm missing, um, is we are releasing our summer 2022 investor update tomorrow. Uh, so that will be in your inboxes. Um, and uh, excited again to, to provide some cool updates, like a new business alliance member. Uh, we'll also announce, announcing that we have a new portfolio member in Jazzer Bank Cafe, uh, who we voted to invest in a few months ago. Um, we have some interviews with uh, four young investors that are that are really great. Uh, then, of course, some uh, some uh, you know financial and uh, demographic information about the fund uh, and about our uh, business alliance. Um, so I'll just pause for any questions or any feedback from the the last couple of pieces that I just said, and that'll wrap up. Unless Genoa, James, and Sierra, are there are any topics that I'm missing. Uh, that I need to make sure to cover. But if there are not, that'll wrap up our co-direct. Okay, so not, Sierra, we're good? Okay, excellent. All right, so we're good. James says we're good. And I think Janelle is saying we're good. Um, and I don't think we have any additional questions or feedback. So thus ends this evening's co-direct. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop the recording.